Okay, guys, there are some rumors. I know you guys in the United States have been saying, what the heck, Tesla? When are we getting the new version of the Model 3? When is the higher land going to become available? What will be the prices? What are the specs? Well, I can't say for sure what the specifications will be for the Tesla Model 3 performance. The Plaid version, it sounds like there will be a two-motor option of the Plaid motors. But I can say this. It looks like the Model 3 Highland will be for sale in the US before the end of this year. So should you go ahead and order a discounted Tesla Model 3 or should you wait for the new version? Well, I have a very strong personal opinion on that and actually it's influenced my decision making personally. Um, I'm going to share with you what I did and why I did it. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Just want to say a big thank you to our Patreon supporters. If you can support us on Patreon, that would be unreal. I'll put a link in the description below to our Patreon page. So the Tesla Model 3 Highland. You've seen all the reviews. There's been only really one criticism. Apparently the cameras can fog up in the certain types of temperatures, but the camera systems are much, much better. And the truth is in every single review I've seen, people are saying it's the best Tesla they've ever driven. Uh, that includes Model S, Model X, Model Y. Uh, they are even saying it's better than Mercedes-Benz EQEs, which costs much more money. They're saying it's better than a Hyundai Ioniq 6. They're saying it's better than the equivalent BMW vehicles, which are much more expensive. I'm just repeating that to you. Now, I'm not saying I agree with that because I haven't driven it. I don't actually know. But I will know pretty soon because the new Tesla Model 3 Highland will be delivered to Australian consumers in the start of January. Now, Tesla did discount prices, Tesla Model 3 here in Australia to the lowest price ever. I made a video about that one. They discounted them down to 55,000 Australian dollars. There was a pretty decent surge in Model 3 sales, the old version I'm talking about here, inventory stock. As a result of this, uh, we saw that the Model 3 was for the first time in a long time, the best selling EV in Australia as a result of those discounts. But my personal decision was not to buy the discounted Model 3 because I still believe that even though the new version is more expensive, more than 10% more expensive, I think it's more than 10% better. So that's what I've decided to do. I still think it's worth paying the extra money uh, versus inventory stock prices to get the new version. So how exactly do we know that it's likely we're going to see the Model 3 Highland in, on American going to American households before the end of this year. Well, there are some real kind of indicators other than the fact that what's been happening at the factory in Fremont, uh, retooling going on there. However, the test car that was spotted recently has regulation headlights. So in other words, normally test cars, they don't have some regulation parts in them, but while crash testing procedures and full self-driving hardware 4.0 equipment differences apparently have potentially delayed the Model 3 Highland release in the US, Tesla is working hard on its accreditation. And it looks like those issues have been fixed. The US version of the Highland has been spotted uncovered and the Model 3 Highland release date in the US is apparently, according to rumors, very fast approaching. The car has been spotted uncovered for the first time in the US Instead of the test mule wrapping that the Model 3 Highland slated for US release, bared its headlights and rear design for all of its prospective buyers. However, now for the first time, it's just they're driving them around in the US with no kind of um, camouflage at all. They're just showing the entire vehicle. What this means is the Model 3 Highland will actually have a different headlight design now that separates its two sections with an orange reflector compared to what can be seen on the Highland that's currently on sale in Europe and China. So that Highland version there, you guys are gonna get in the US, is a little bit different. This is probably due to US regulations on things like housing reflectors, size, overall luminance. You know, those details and specifications are a little bit different in Europe and China. So clearly we can see that this Model 3 Highland being spotted driven on US roads has the production specification headlights, which are different different to the ones in Europe and China. So other than those headlights that have been, that are clearly different, I think actually look better than the one in Europe and China and the ones we'll be getting here in Australia. Other than the headlights, everything else is exactly 
identical to the Chinese made versions, which like we said are in Europe and China right now. Uh, so there's no changes other than that. This vehicle that was spotted has a manufacturer license plate. So it is obviously out testing um, the final version of this vehicle with its new headlights. It looks to me like it's just ready to go. I, I really think that it's just some regulations holding up deliveries in the US. And it's probably within a couple of weeks that you guys will be able to buy them. That's just my guess though. I could be wrong, but let me know what you think in the comments. For the US release of the Model 3 Highland, Tesla is going to equip the American version better than the way it's equipped right now. It will have the more advanced hardware fork, which is exclusive. Apparently it'll work much better for full self-driving. Autopilot will work better. You're definitely getting a better system here. So you guys in the US, you've had to be patient, but you're gonna get a much better car as a result. Facelift owners in other regions have been complaining about their limited Tesla Vision only camera set that actually can fog up in cold weather and isn't recognizing road conditions as well as a result. So when they fog up, they're having some issues. Apparently, they have sorted those issues out for the US made version. I'm gonna guess Tesla will probably come up with some sort of fix for the fogging in the Chinese made version. Don't know when that'll come though. So the question here is how much better will the hardware 4.0 version B for the Model 3 Highland? Well, it's gotta be way better. I mean, I'm talking, it's a huge leap from the existing hardware three versus hardware four. Astronomical leap. I really think it's a game changer. And I personally, if I was in the US, definitely would not be buying the old version, even at a significant discount. I'd be waiting for the new version because it's not just better when it comes to the hardware four. It's better with suspension. It's better with NVH levels, noise levels. It's better with comfort. It's better in terms of its refinement. It's better in actually to so many ways. The interior is better, the sound system is better. Um, yeah, it's a much better car. Definitely wait. That's my opinion. Guys, what is your opinion on this? What have you decided to do? Do you think this new version is worth waiting for? Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye-bye.